Greetings. This is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. You may notice something a little different. I uh, have a microphone. Traded that for a Cadillac. And also I have a way to hold this that it doesn't, uh, doesn't shake like it was. And as promised, I wanted to show you the first day that we move our chicks out on pasture. Now these guys, today would be their, or yesterday would be their, they were four weeks old. <clears throat> and uh, you know, kind of the way that this goes, uh, outdoor farming, traditional farming, we have to kind of take things as they come. Um, got up this morning, it was cold. And the weatherman says that it's gonna be down to 32 for a, a couple of nights coming up here. This will be a test to see how well this works with my new uh, microphone. And uh, the other day when I made one, it was shaking really bad. I mean, there was something wrong with the video, for sure. And I'm not sure if that's just me seeing that or everybody sees that. But anyway, let's get back to chickens. Here's, I'll give you an idea of how big they are. Right there. Okay, four weeks, pretty good size. And we made the decision, command decision, that we would not put them out. Um, we're gonna wait another week because this time of year we can get sleet, we can get rain. It's down to, you know, 30-ish at night. Um, they can have some real tough times. And what you wanna look out for this time of year is uh, any kind of respiratory problems. So if they have a bunch of really nice warm days, then all of a sudden it gets real cold, that's when you can have pretty bad problems. So what we did here <clears throat> was we used the chicken crates to extend this run, all right? So we gave them more space because I want them outside, I want them to get a, you know, used to um, a little bit of little bit of wind, a little bit of weather. But I want to have the ability to put them back in if I can, and this gives me that ability. Now, it's not bad out right now, and they're outside; they don't seem stressed. <clears throat> I may um, consider leaving them out tonight. But uh, it's just as easy to push them in. Um, another thing that we had to consider in leaving them in one more night was they've got a lot of bedding built up here. Now you can see that. Of course, I, we have moved the brooder ahead one position. I actually moved it about a position and a half. All right. That's the bedding that was left. And you're probably thinking, oh man, that's going to really create havoc on that grass. It really isn't. It really isn't. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here with the loader and I'm going to scrape that down as close as I can, fold it over, and put it in a nice little pile. Not right here, but over by my compost pile. Because one of the things you struggle with on a compost pile, I know this is off the subject, is getting it started in the spring. Um, you know, really going. I mean, it's going now, it's making some heat, but I want it to really start to crank. I want it to get finished up so I can start to use some of that compost. Um, that's a whole different video, a composting video. I will always leave some behind to get my next uh, bunch of compost started. Right? But this right here is a tremendous benefit because chicken litter is super, super hot. Now, if I did leave that there, uh, you know, it would burn the grass. That's way too much. But when you have a little bit that comes from the chicken goes right to the ground, it's almost like the ground is waiting for it and can do something with it and it can do good things with it. So chicken manure is not always a bad thing. 
I think it's underrated. I think chicken manure is underrated. That breaks my heart sometimes. Um, okay, so I think we're going to hold off until, uh, I think, Friday. I think Friday. And then we'll pull some tractors over here, get them set up, uh, and get the chicks put in. But as we get closer to that date, um, I, I'm looking at the 10-day forecast, and we're getting to the place where we're kind of out of the woods. Although, you know, we have had really bad weather in May, so it's it's touch and go. I want to remind you that these chickens are going to be ready for the pastured poultry class that is going to be held <clears throat> the 20th and the 21st of May. If you'd like to attend that, um, please go to bakersgreenacres.com and click on Anyone Can Farm. And there's a, a list of the um, pertinent uh, classes that are coming up. There's also one coming up on the 13th, which I believe is this coming Saturday. No, wait a minute. That couldn't be. No, the 13th. That's going to be next month. Ah, real funny. I get all the thumbs up. Really funny. Um, and that's a fencing class. And my wife has called it fencing for success, not distress. And I think that's a good class to, to take. It's 49 whole bucks, and we get to spend the day together doing some stuff, building some fences, and sharing some... Uh, getting our farming on. So please consider coming to that. Um, you can check the website for the particulars on there. Um, whoops. Somebody's having a little problem over there. Okay. This is Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Remember, anyone can farm. Do it yourself or shake hands with the person who did. Thank you.